COVID cases have plummeted in the last month in Rhode Island. Data from the Department of Health shows the rate of positive cases and community transmission are continuing to decline. And the state has had another day with zero new deaths reported. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now live in studio with how the COVID situation has also been changing inside hospitals. Alex? Well, Mike, the state has been leaning on hospitalization data as a more accurate way to measure the severity of the pandemic, especially amid the rise of at-home testing. One emergency department doctor at Rhode Island Hospital tells me the situation has improved dramatically in the last month. The Omicron surge uh, has gone way down. A little over a month ago, state health data shows over 600 people were hospitalized with COVID-19 in Rhode Island's hospitals. That figure has now dropped to below 150. Dr. Jeremiah Schur, who heads Rhode Island Hospital's emergency department, has seen the change firsthand. What I observed on my shifts this weekend uh, was that uh, since the hospitals are not overwhelmed, we've been able to move patients through the emergency department extremely efficiently. Dr. Schur says that has also translated to almost no significant wait times in the emergency department. Back at the end of 2021 and the beginning of January, we were routinely seeing waits of four, six, eight hours for um, all sorts of conditions. Over the last uh, two weeks, um, most of the time, the waits were 30 minutes or less. He says the ED has seen fewer COVID patients in recent weeks, in part due to preventative steps to preserve hospital capacity. Including limiting surgeries and the help of the National Guard and FEMA, um, the hospital is functioning very well. Schur says the question moving forward will be staffing inside hospitals. And this is not uh, a, an issue for any one hospital. It's a national issue that we've seen now, Dr. Schur also tells me, likely as a result of masking and social distancing, that there's been minimal flu activity so far this flu season. But he isn't ruling out a delayed surge of flu and other respiratory viruses in the spring or summer, like we saw last year. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. With hospitalizations and cases down from last month's peak, 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie spoke with the head of Rhode Island Hospital's emergency department, who explains how the situation has improved in the last month. Alex? Well, Dr. Jeremiah Schur tells me wait times in the emergency department were as high as eight hours at the end of 2021 and in January. But in the last two weeks, wait times, he says, have gone down to 30 minutes or less in most cases, indicating the Omicron surge is winding down. Dr. Jeremiah Schur has seen the change firsthand. What we're seeing in the emergency department is not as many patients with COVID because there have been steps taken to preserve hospital capacity. Those steps included limiting surgeries on top of receiving staffing help from the National Guard and FEMA. He says the latest data from the Rhode Island Department of Health is about the same as in August 2021. And at that point, um, there weren't significant concerns about hospital capacity. The state was open. Dr. Schur also tells me likely as a result of masking and social distancing that there has been minimal flu activity so far this flu season, but we're not out of the woods yet. We'll probably see a delayed uh, surge of the flu in the spring and early summer and some other respiratory viruses, which we actually saw last year, uh, particularly in kids. I also asked if because of fewer flu cases at the moment, if capacity levels are on track with what hospitals saw prior to the pandemic. Actually, we are seeing about 20% fewer patients in our emergency departments than we would have seen in February before COVID. Dr. Scher tells me he believes people paid attention to the hospital's messaging about seeking care in the right place, like reaching out to primary care or in some cases urgent care over the ER. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.